Hi, it's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm at um, Big Fish. Big Fish, yeah. And it's a school where they're students and they learn about making films. Um, and I'm here with Laura Lee. Yeah, you said it right. <laughs> okay. Um, so what do you do? I'm the training manager here. So I'm in charge of curriculum and making sure that the students learn what they need to learn in order to go and work out there. Yeah. So you're kind of like a principal or something? There is a principal. I'm the, I'm, yeah, I suppose so, <laughs> in a weird way. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, so what do you... Like, do you guys make films often here and set them out into cinemas and everything? The courses run over a period of eight months and the students all make five films in the period of time that they're doing a course. So they start with something like an experimental film or a silent film and they move on. And at the end they do a personal film. Some of the environmental films go to film festivals all over the world. Um, some of the experimental films, lots of the films actually go to various film festivals. Not so much cinemas, but lots of film festivals. Okay. Um, so, what's the period, what's like the usual period of time for the course? Normally starts in about January and ends in October, something like that. February, October, yeah, wow. it's about eight months. Eight months for a beginner's course and eight months for an intermediate course. You guys, you also go out and work in the industry? Yeah, do you go and work in the industry? <laughs> <laughs> the um, beginners do work placements and Generally speaking, when they've finished their courses, lots of people phone me, almost like being a, a what's it called, a crewing agent. People phone me and say, I'm looking for a director, I'm looking for a researcher, I'm looking for a PA. And then I recommend ex-students to them. Like I'll say, oh, I've got the perfect person for you, this person. A lot of people don't think about production while they're doing their, their courses. Everybody thinks they want to be a producer or a director. But sometimes, over the period of the course, I can see this person will be a really good production person. And then people will find me and say, I need a production person. I say, I've got the perfect person for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are perfect place opportunities for girls? There are lots of opportunities for girls. Um, the, we, generally speaking, take about 50, 52 percent females into each class. And the girls get as many opportunities out there as any other, anybody else. Girls and boys get the same opportunities. So I certainly recommend people on the basis of how good they are. I don't recommend them on the basis of their gender. And I've got lots of girls to choose from. So I think that one of the, the, the jobs that people really don't think, girls really don't think of doing is DOPing. What's that? Director of photography. Like being a cameraman. Cameraman. People don't say, I want a camera, I want a camera person. They say, I want a cameraman. And then I might recommend a girl. And we've got quite a few really good camera people who've passed through here who will go on to be good DOPs. Um, okay, a DOP is a lighting cameraman. So it's somebody who's not just taking instructions from the, the director deals with the DOP and says, this is the look that I want. And then the, the DOP designs the look in terms of what lights they want and how they're going to make the vision of the director come alive in terms of lighting design. So it's more than being a cameraman. And often I find students call themselves DOPs quite early. And I say, uh, 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 if you've been working with a redhead kit, which is a type of lighting kit with three lights in it, it's quite a basic lighting kit. 
when working with a with a, a redhead git, you cannot call yourself a DOP. You need to have worked with all kinds of lights and really understand the nuances of lighting when you're lighting for a scene. That's a DOP. So it's being able to work the camera and understand lighting at the same time. And how lighting, so I mean, you can see it's quite difficult here. If you, there's a camera, there's a light, we see it, the way we see it between ourselves, what it looks like might not be the way it comes through on the camera. And the DOP has to understand those nuances. Okay. Did cool. I explain it all right? Did you yeah, get you it? did good. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was Lasadi. Ah. <laughs> yeah. The... You got, forgot my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was Laurie Lee. Okay, Laurie Lee. <laughs> and Go Go Media Girl.